how hard is it for an alien civilization, again, you have the dictator of one, to figure out a probe that is most likely to find a common language with whatever it finds. Couldn't that be like the elected leader of elected the alien leader, civilization? Elected leader, democratic leader, <laughs> uh, de- elected leader of a democratic alien civilization, yes. <laughs> I think we would figure out that language thing pretty quickly. I mean, maybe not as quickly as we do when different human tribes find each other, because obviously there's a lot of commonalities in humanity, but there is logic and math. And there is the physical world. You can point to a rock and go, rock, (laughs) right? I don't think it would take that long. Um, I know that Arrival, uh, the movie, uh, based on a Ted Chang story, uh, suggested that the way that aliens communicate is going to be fundamentally different. Uh, But also, they had recognition and other things I don't believe in. So I think that if we actually find aliens, uh, that will not be our long-term problem. So there's a folks, one one of the places you're affiliated with is Santa Fe, and they approach the question of complexity in many different ways Mm -hmm. and ask the question in many different ways of what is life, thinking broadly. So do you would be able to find it? You'll think you show up, a probe shows up to a planet, we'll see a thing and be like, yeah, that's that's, that's a living thing. Well, again, if it's intelligent and technologically advanced. The the more short-term question of if we get, you know, some spectroscopic data from an exoplanet, so we know a little bit about what is in its atmosphere, how can we judge whether or not that atmosphere is giving us a signature of life existing? Mm-hmm. That's a very hard question that people are debating about. I mean, one very simple-minded, but perhaps um, interesting approach is to say, Small molecules don't tell you anything, because even if life could make them, something else could also make them. But long molecules, that's the kind of thing that life would produce. So signs of complexity. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just have this nervous feeling that we won't be able to detect. We'll show up to a planet, have a bunch of liquid on it. We like dip, we take a swim in the liquid, and we won't be able to see the intelligence in it. Whether... Whether that intelligence looks like something like, you know, ants or mm. we'll see movement, perhaps, mm-hmm. strange movement, but we won't be able to um, see the intelligence in it or communicate with it. I guess if we have nearly infinite amount of time to play with different ideas, we might be able to. You know, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm in favor of this kind of humility, this intellectual humility that we won't know because we should be prepared for surprises. But I do always keep coming back to the idea that we all live in the same physical universe. And if, well, let's put it this way. The development of our intelligence has certainly been connected to our ability to manipulate the physical world around us. And so I would guess, without 100% credence by any means, but my guess would be that any advanced kind of life would also have that capability. You know, both dolphins and octopuses are potential counterexamples to that. But um, I I think in the details, there would be enough similarities that we would recognize it. 